Aloha guys, Joe Tunney here visiting my friends at Kona Nissan here in Kona, Hawaii. And unbelievable what car do they have on their showroom floor, the car I did my very first review on, not a video review, but back in 1988 when I was in junior college, I had read something that somebody had sent to the San Francisco Chronicle saying that their 1964 Chevy 2 or Chevy Nova had, uh, had actually better capabilities than a brand new 1988 vehicle. It got better gas mileage, it was roomier, had a bigger trunk, did more things, cost a tiny bit amount of money uh, many, many years before, and that there was actually no improvement between 1964 cars and 1988 cars at the time. So I picked two cars. I picked that Chevrolet, and I also picked the 64 Datsun. This is the 360 pickup truck, and I compared those against cars of the modern era. That report went on to be uh, featured in a larger article in the Wall Street Journal and the uh, uh, kind of an early uh, high point in my scholastic career. So the 360 came in four different body styles. So this would be kind of the base model uh, pickup truck. They came with or without a rear bed. In fact, we'll take a look around. So actually, we'll start by popping the hood. And so it's just a little bit bigger, excuse me, than 1150 cc's, uh, 1200 they called it. And so 60 horsepower, and if I recall correctly, 67 pound feet of torque. So pretty decent power for its day, and a car that in the real world was still enjoying plus 20 miles per gallon. If we take a look around, well, this is a little pint size uh, little runner, but cars in the 80s weren't all that much more spacious, whether in the bed or in the cab. It was actually a pretty sturdy truck for its uh, day as well. If you got them without the rear bed, you can actually custom your own uh, rear, rear quarters. If you got the N360 version of this, this was, would have all been one big piece with bigger doors, and that was kind of the style leader of the bunch. And then there was the U and V series, which were cars, the V being the wagon and the U being the sedan. Let's take a look inside. e-brake on the left hand side. One of the things I got a real kick out of this car is that it had a four speed. Cars long after this, even expensive cars, were still coming with three speeds. This is a four speed on the column. So uh, actually a, not a modern transmission being on the column, but modern in the terms of it being a four speed. You gotta remember the cost of this car was only $1,500 new. So to have relatively good power relatively good carrying capacity and cost very little. If you uh, have ever seen the ads for this car, as you remember, Roy Rogers was kind of the, the sales pitchman for uh, Datsun back in 1964 for this truck. And this is what Roy Rogers was driving around in. I remember the picture very well. It cost $1,596 at the MSRP level. And I'm sure even back then, somebody wanted it for $1,595, just like they do now. But it was very inexpensive, it was very very cool and it did everything that a 1988 vehicle could have done for four and five times the money and was actually very economical. This one's sitting right on the showroom floor of Kona Nissan and if you're wanting to take a look at it, it's just right off of the Queen K Highway on the south side of Kona. And if you have any questions about early Dodsons or anything at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. My email is joelovesawaii at gmail.com.